Right, Elm Batch I am. I've turned off a small road leaving Wookie. It looks like you're going into someone's private cottage area. But there's actually a little gate at the side of a bigger gate and it takes you into this meadow. Now up there beyond the fence are a load of cows. There were horses up here when I came last year. This takes you to Ebor Gorge, everyone. I've got all the buttercups, very pretty, this little meadow. So Elm Batch, that's called. I'm not climbing up Ebor Gorge today. It's not as far as I know, anyway. I've said that before. I climbed it twice the last time I was there. I climbed right up through the fountain. Um, yeah, went up one way, came back down and decided to climb the actual gorge, which is like a fountain. It's like a, a stream. And I, I reckon I've been there many years ago when Zara was a baby. And it was actually a waterfall there. It's just dried up. You can see the hoof prints of um, horses though here. But this path up through this meadow leads you to Ebel Gorge. I've walked from Wales. It's a pleasant walk. You're in the countryside very quickly. You walk through the grounds of the Blue School. And uh, you walk through Wookie. I and mean, if you're driving, you can carry on up the road to Deer Leap Lane, I think it's called. Or you can, if you're walking, you, you can follow the West Mendip Way from Wells. I don't follow that exactly. I just do my own thing, really. And um, it looks well trodden. This bit here, no sign of cow here, no cow pack, but definitely horse. It's probably used as a bridle path, but there could there still could be horses in here, but up the top there. But anyway, and you walk through the gorge this way. Now this this, this takes you to pretty. I'm walking around the edge. I'm not, not actually exploring Epic Gorge as such today. I wanted to see a quarry, which I looked at earlier, near Wookie. So there wasn't much to see, but I expect it was quite big in, in, in its day. There might have been other places I didn't explore that much. There might have been more evidence hanging around back there. So this is uh, Sheila carrying on her exploration of the Somerset, the beautiful Somerset countryside. I like coming out in the week because you get a lot of peace um, when the kids are all at school and everything. You do get a lot of peace. The smell of the fragrance is beautiful. I mean, I don't tend to seem, I don't seem to get affected by natural fragrances. Now earlier when I was sat on the bus, there were people that were obviously going to work or something and they were dosed up with deodorant and perfume and makeup smells. And uh, I didn't know, I had a hay fever pill yesterday because of this, I have it for, just walking in boots, the chemist can spark me off. My sensitivity to smells seems to be the thing. Now, it's only when we get to about the end of this little bit of meadow, there'll be a, a plaque. Now, uh, you know, you can see stuff, a map and all that. Well, I'll carry on talking. It's the... 8th of June 2016 in the world the discussions are heating up and the debates over whether we should stay in Europe or leave 
there's lots and lots of uh, arguments for and against. Um, I don't really know. I never had a choice in 1970, I think, when we joined the Europe. I don't really know what I think, really. I think it doesn't make any difference to the poor person, except that if we leave, our human rights could be at jeopardy. If the Tories get their way, we would go back to medieval times. They're already claiming the forests, becoming landlords and lords of the manor again. Um, so we might have more rights, I think, if we stay in Europe, but it might be cheaper, some of the products. I think extreme Tories want us to leave so they can control us more, the people. So I think I would say stay in. It's the 1% again di trying to dictate, and Cameron's probably just playing a game. I think he probably wants to be out, really. But he's having to play this opposition game on purpose, he's doing it. Because he knows he isn't liked at the moment, so if he says he's for it, people might vote not for it. Um, not for staying in. Because of David Cameron saying he wants out. Whereas it was his idea to have a referendum in the beginning. Right, one more quick bit of news. Hillary Clinton in America has won the Democratic standing for President of America. It'll be a history thing. It's the, it is history already because she's now the first woman ever to be able to stand for President. Right, over and out. I'm just going to climb this style. I'm praying we don't have thunder and lightning. Some people were struck yesterday. They said we weren't having any in this area. Look at that lovely meadow there. Right now, looks like here's the sign. Ebel Gorge. I'm going to take a picture of this in a minute. I've probably got one from before. This is one of a number of important woodlands that lie on the south escarpment of the Mendip Hills. It's mainly of ash and oak, but native trees include white beam, witch elm and field maple. There are a number of small caves from the Ice Age. I'm already getting attacked by flipping mites. Um, right. Now, I've been here before, of course. Just got bitten by something. It's a trouble when you come out in the countryside. I'm always bitten by something. Um, yeah, something really got me then. Right, hold on a minute. So anyway, I'm going to be walking down that way and then I'm going to carry on. Instead of going up the gorge, I should carry on till I come to a, park, a car parking area. I haven't been there before, that particular part. I just need to turn off now to take some photos. Over and out.